Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, we're gonna talk about marginal cost. Specifically, I'll tell you uh, what margin marginal cost is and how you can interpret it, okay? So what marginal cost is, is essentially the derivative of the cost. So how's the cost changing? Is it going up, going down, and by how much? Now, oftentimes you can roughly interpret the marginal cost as the cost of producing just an additional unit. And let me show you why that is. So suppose you're looking at the cost function here, and maybe you wanted to know what is the marginal cost at a certain point. So that'd be like asking what is the slope of the tangent line at that specific point. So my little blue line here would represent our marginal cost. Now, if instead we uh, say look at the slope of the line of producing one more unit, that'd be like going out you know, exactly one unit further, and then checking out the cost a little bit further on down. So let's say this would be, say, one more. And this would be like the change in our cost. Now, you'll notice that these two lines are definitely not the same. One is a tangent line and one is a secant line. But since we're choosing it only one unit away, they are pretty, pretty close to one another. And we'll definitely see that when we get to my example and we start doing some calculations on these, okay? So let's go ahead and get started on that example. In this one, we have the cost of producing machines. And that's given by uh, 1,100 plus 140x minus 0.2x squared. So here, x represents uh, the number of machines we're producing, and the function just simply returns our cost. The question is, what is the marginal cost when 105 machines are produced? So just like I mentioned before, we want to figure out what is the derivative of our cost. So we just simply take the derivative of this function here. Derivative of a constant would go to 0. Derivative of 140x would be 140 and the derivative of negative 0.2x squared, well, we drop down the two, get 0.4x. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now to get the marginal cost for 105 machines, we'll plug in that 105. So 140 minus 0.4 times 105. All right, now let's go ahead and simplify this down. So 140 minus and 0 0.4 times 105, that's just a 42. So 140 minus 42, 98, or in the context of our problem, we could say $98 is the marginal cost uh, when 105 machines are produced. Now keep this number in mind as we get to the next half. We wanna show that this $98 is about the same as the cost of producing just one more machine beyond the 105. So essentially, we're looking, okay, what's the change in cost between, say, producing 106 machines and 105 machines? All right, so we first need to figure out, well, what is the cost of producing, say, 106 machines? Well, to find that, I could just take the 106 and plug it into the cost function itself. Let's see, so I got 1,100 plus 140 times 106 minus 0 0.2106 squared. Okay, some big numbers in here. Uh, 140 times 106, I get 14,840 minus, then taking 106 squared and multiplying by 0 0.2, this is 2,247.2. All right, combining all of these together, we get 13,692.8. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now let's figure out what is the cost of producing 105. Exactly one less. So same as before, we'll start with our cost function. Plug in the 105. All right, so working on this, let's see, 1,100. 140 times 105. 14700 then I have uh, 0 0.2 multiplied by 105 squared 2205 
and combining all of these together, 13,595. All right, so let's subtract these two and figure out what the difference in cost is. So taking my value here, subtracting this, I would get $97.80. And notice how that's about the same value that we got before. So remember that for marginal cost, we're simply looking at the derivative of cost. If you'd like to see more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.